Hope you're doing well. Um, we're dodging the rain this morning. Uh, so you may see me pack up quickly and run for cover. Um, this is the obelisk, or known as the obelisk at Robe. It's a landmark for boats, sailors, in and around Robe. And here I'm trying to find a composition. I was trying a low one. I've got a beautiful little patch of a uh, piece of grass here, a little round piece of grass that I was hoping to use as foreground. But the lower I get, I'll lose this beautiful curving line. I'll show you here. So this is the grass that I wanted to look at with this sort of angle down that's quite pretty uh, but what I want I need that leading line in there so that that piece of rock that curves in from the right up to, up to the uh, obelisk so that's what I'm going to go for this morning okay probably need to get a touch nearer and there is that's about right I'll give it F11, focusing a third of the way in. 30 seconds. So this is the scene at the moment. It's very pretty, so let's see what we get. Okay, right, so we have a three stop on and a 0.6 uh, soft grad, tamed down that sky just a touch. I went from eight seconds, put a three stop on, which should give me around about a minute, a minute exposure. Um, the wind's moving, I just want some, I want some streaking in the sky. There's some beautiful cloud about. So I'll take a couple more from here. This one's in uh, landscape orientation. I'll see how we do here. And it looks fine. Uh, it looks, looks pretty nice. Uh, what we're missing really is some sunlight on the side of this obelisk, which really would have made it, made it pop. Um, I can see what I can do with dodging and burning. So I'm happy with that. So now, as ever, if you do a landscape shot and you're happy with it, flip it and do a portrait shot which is what I'm going to do here don't forget if you switch it from landscape to portrait or vice versa flip your filters if you've got them on f11 60 seconds I've got the obelisk slightly off centre, uh, not quite on the rule of thirds, um, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. I think it's more pleasing with the sweep of the rock coming in. Uh, we're at low tide, not that you can really tell from up here, 
were very high up from the from the um, from the sea, from the sea level at least. You can see the lighthouse far off in the distance. Um, there's a beautiful little um, sea arch. And then we have the obelisk at Robe. A lot of cliffs, beautiful bays, craggy rocks. And there's another little pointer out there which lights up. It's just gone out earlier on. And there we go. It is, it's a wonderful morning to be out and about. And as ever, I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. Just the fresh air, the sound of the ocean, beautiful things to photograph such as this. sound of the ocean, beautiful things to photograph such as this. What more can you ask for? Well, I've, well, I've got you here. If, uh, if you fancy following more adventures, why don't you like and subscribe? I'd really appreciate it. It would help me so much. Uh, brand new channel, a wonderful coastline in Australia, uh, scouts are abroad and I'm just loving landscape, photography, dawn, sunsets, the great outdoors. You know, it's an amazing place. It's just absolutely beautiful. So I've adjusted this very, very slightly, this composition. I've uh, shifted it, shifted the camera pointing slightly to the left, pushes the obelisk to the right some more, and it brings in this little, little divot or cat, little, little divot in the, um, in the in the limestone rock, it's limestone all throughout here and as you know in the UK we've got plenty of limestone and when the rain hits it it goes all pitted and holes and it's you know it gets uh, quite brittle and fragile so that's why I'm not going any further forward. You can see the side that the, uh, the rock's already fallen away. Um, I don't fancy going with it so this is what we're going to do, as far as I'm going to go. Why don't we go and explore our next composition? So you see, you've got to be very careful. And not walk backwards here, because that's very deep, as you can see. So we'll walk along here. And I'm thinking of trying to use this as a leading line, something like that. This is probably, because this is wider than my lens. Again, I'm probably missing, probably about there. I think that's probably going to be my next and last shot of the morning. Uh, I'm concentrating on something like that. Okay. go oops and there you go classic classic mistake I keep saying it when you switch from landscape portrait and vice versa what do you do you have to shift you have to shift <laughs> your filters if you're using them what a morning wow I think that is a typical 
rugged winter shot.